guys, so I know I just did a grocery haul for you, but I wanted to do a Sam's Club haul because I don't go to Sam's Club very often. And this time I did a really big shop because now that we're in our new house, we have room for more things. Let me see your hot. It's hot, yeah. Anyways, so I might have gone a little bit overboard, but in the long run, we're saving money in general because some of these things I'll show you can be kind of expensive when you get them at the grocery store. And yeah, like I said, if we have room for it, which we do in this new house, might as well get this stuff while we can. And now when I go to the grocery store, I really only have to get like meats and fresh produce and stuff like that. Your knee, are you okay? So I'm just gonna get started with everything. Here is everything, there's stuff back there, stuff here. So the first thing we got was paper towels. You can never have too many paper towels, especially with our big closet. We can just stick them all in there. So it's definitely a good deal to get Sam's Club paper towels. Um, and then along with that, toilet paper. Same with that. Basically my theory at Sam's Club is if we're gonna eat it or if we normally eat it and it's not gonna go bad, then you might as well get it at Sam's Club or Costco or wherever you shop because you're gonna be saving money. So obviously toilet paper doesn't go bad. And then I got Chris some Diet Coke. I've never tried these before, but Jane likes mushroom ravioli. So hopefully she'll like these. This was kind of like an impulse buy. I didn't really need that, but I got some coffee creamer. My favorite is the Coffee Mate French Vanilla, but they didn't have that for some reason this time. So I just got this, it's Coffee House. There's vanilla caramel and caramel macchiato. A big block of cheese because in our family you can't eat enough cheese. Um, I got these ProGlide uh, Gillette Fusion razor cartridges. These are really, really expensive. And I debated signing Chris up for the Dollar Shave Club, which I still might. But these were a really good deal at Sam's Club. So I got them there. And then same with toothbrushes. You can never have enough toothbrushes. So I just grabbed these. Um, I got the Caribou Blend Coffee for the Keurig. I've never tried this one, but it was the cheapest one out of all of the ones they had, so might as well try it. Hopefully I like it. Um, shredded cheese, because again, can't have too much cheese. We put shredded cheese on everything. Um, we put it on tacos, we put it on chili, we make nachos with it. So, like I said, it's. It takes a while for that kind of cheese to go bad, so got it. And we got some Dial soap because recently we just ran out of soap and I bought like a little three pack at the grocery store, but I decided might as well get the whole thing. Um, you guys saw that I had this in my grocery haul. These are so, so, so good. The Special K sausage, egg, and cheese. Those are so good. Jane has been obsessed with popcorn lately. It probably isn't the best popcorn for you because it probably has a ton of butter because it says butter lovers on it. That's all they had there, so I decided to get it. Mama, yes? Popcorn. Yeah, we're gonna have popcorn. Um, I got some sponges because we are actually on our last sponge, and so I figured we could use that, definitely. Eggs, we eat tons of eggs here. Obviously cooking with eggs. We eat eggs for breakfast all the time. We like hard boiled eggs. So those will not go to waste. Um, I love these. They're mandarin oranges in a can. I got some in my grocery haul that you guys saw, but these are super good. I also got these chicken pot pie Marie calendars. I don't necessarily like them because they have peas in them, but Chris likes them. They have no preservatives, zero trans fat. And Jane really likes them too. And they're made from white meat chicken. So like I said, Jane likes them. Chris likes them. So if we're ever in a bind for dinner, we can always just heat one of those up really quick. Jane also loves tuna fish. She's actually become really picky lately. Um, but tuna is something that she really likes still. So I got that. And I always get the kind in water. The kind in oil is kind of too oily for me. Jane and I love our olives, so I got like a little six pack of canned olives. We eat these as a snack, we eat these with some dinner, we eat these when we have tacos, so these come in handy. And then same with this, I just saw this, this wasn't really on my list, but Rotel 
diced tomatoes and green chilies. I use this when I make chili, but I also can use it to make um, queso and guacamole. And there's a really good sausage dip that uses Rotel, so I figured we could definitely use that and they're not gonna go bad. I got some Homestyle Eggo Waffles. Um, these aren't the best for you. Normally I'd get like a whole grain kind, um, but this is all they had, and so I got them. Jane really likes um, waffles. And then Jane also really likes Nutri-Grain bars. Again, these aren't the healthiest uh, granola bars that you can eat, but Jane really likes these and they're good to have in my bag for a snack. Yeah, Nutri-Grain bars. Let's cook some popcorn. You want to? And then lastly, I got this all free and clear detergent. We use this for her cloth diapers. We don't really use it for anything else. We use regular detergent for our clothes. Um, but I use these for cloth diapers. So this will last us a really long time. Because I do cloth diapers maybe every three days. Um, and it's just like a little tiny cup worth. So this will last us a while. But that's all we got. Um, it seems like a lot and it was kind of expensive, but like I said, this will last us a while. Um, we won't have to go back for a while. What happened to your hat? It's right there. You better get it. Put it on. Oh my goodness. Whoa. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.